At last, I finally caught up with the anime. Looking back at my hype video and the reception from the newcomers, all I can say is... I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. Have you ever feel the rewarding sensation? I'm sure you have. But have you ever feel the pain and agony, hoping that there's a kind payoff in the end? Well, Disney has done that multiple times, but that's besides the point. The point is, this chapter nailed the satisfaction that we were hoping for. The thrilling battle isn't over, but the survey of his reward is piling on nicely. As bad as it was for Inosuke to swear that he will send Doma straight to hell, I wasn't expecting a reply towards the ideology of heaven and hell. It could have been seen as a filler, but this is quite fitting. Not only because it's Doma, an upper moon too demon, is the one to deny the ideal, but it fits the narrative of these characters. Doma doesn't believe in it as he sees it as an excuse for divine punishment I could imagine religious people finding this insulting and aggravating. Religious or not, that's the point. Doma is a predator that doesn't care for morale, if there's really none to begin with. If you live your life without believing in consequences, let alone in the afterlife, what's there to worry about? You don't need to follow a religion to see his view is cruel and disturbing. He adds on that humans are pathetic. If everyone stopped believing in hell, then no consequences will leave the weak in peril, forcing to stop altogether. That's rather dark, yet thoughtful of him. Define his character perfectly. I really do like Inosuke's response. If there doesn't exist, I'll create it for you. What a badass reply. One way or another, he wants blood. The action is great with increasing tension, though not what I expected. Despite Inosuke raging, he's holding up pretty well. He uses Beast Breathing 10th Fang, Whirling Fang to fan out the freezing clouds, nearly consuming some of his toxic. Kanao jumps in and still has good reflexes for defense. At one point, she almost got slashed while trying to pull an attack, pushed aside, but it could have been a lot worse. As good those parts were, the real thrill begins with a new danger in Sue. I wasn't expected to call it N and decided to walk out since his time is over. I was dumbfounded to think he would just walk out and leave them heartbroken. Not a sight for retribution. He's so powerful, he let his crystalline divine child, basically ice clone of himself, to take care of them. That's not just showing how strong he is, that's showing how he sees them. Weak and waste of time. This demon has no limit on insults. I got a good chuckle with Inosuke laughing at the clone. He's like, what is this piece squeak? Come on, please. Only it was nearly as strong as the original. Not so funny now. The tension is not on stopping Doma from leaving. And for what it is, it is strikingly intense. I didn't know where the direction was heading, so I was completely absorbed by it. When you think about it, it has a lot of possibility if he does escape. Also, the series tends to have an unpredictable path, so I bought into the idea that he may escape instead of feeling safe and unchallenged. The intensity gradually grows the closer Doma gets to the exit. It's practically a time limit. Who knew exiting through a door could be this intense? The action is engaging but gut-wrenching. After all the mockery and insults for Inosuke and Kanao, this is what they get? An unfulfilled vengeance? I already have one series with no redemption. I don't need another. Well, Doma is nice enough to fill in the observation on why Inosuke haven't consumed to toxin. Part of me wanted to think the manga cop forgot about it. Jokingly, of course. Really, it's due to his sharply sensitive skins, which was referenced earlier when Tanjiro had a flashback. Good to know. Now, stay and die. The tension gets crazier with every step away. Literally, I'm here just pondering on how the hell they can stop him. Just when there's a little hope on surviving, Domo has the nerve to create another ice doll. This is some kind of video games where it decided to play incredibly cheap. You know, Sekiro style. 
In total, he made five ice dolls. That is broken as hell. Things got a lot worse when Inosuke starts taking bad damages. By this point, I was hoping for anyone to appear. It could be a damn crow for all I care. Just anyone. Please, stop that prick. The door opening panel sure got me on the edge. Again, a simple door opening. In my childhood memory, Disney had his moment of rewarding sensation that made me cheery. The next scene remind me of said sensation. The cliffhanger ends on a very satisfying note. The moment I see Doma melting, I begin to cheer uproariously. My cheer gets louder and louder when Doma realizes the cause of it. Shinobu. That's right. That poison way back in her fight started to take an effect. That smile is incredibly earned. I love that smile. All of the past panels of hers made me sad. Here, it made me glad. It's worth noting that Kanao was shouting, This is it! This is it! This means, all this time, she was waiting for this to happen. While the priority is to make him stay, the reason to stall time was for this. If that's the case, holy crap, this would you consider a plot twist. Could that mean the hand signal from Shinobu was about the poison rather than a warning? I need answers. Please, bring on the next chapter. This chapter was thrilling and satisfying. It was a heart racing event, but the payoff is so good. The action was gripping, the tension got me hooked, and the elevation of Doma closing in to escape got me anxious. The paneling was well done to create the intensity. The cliffhanger had me floored with satisfaction, like finally making through the desert storm. Shinobu's smile got me chills for excitement. I don't know if this will handicap or end Doma, but he deserved all of it. Karma couldn't be any kinder. And that would do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly enjoyed this one. Just seeing Shinobu with that smile, man, that felt good. What do you think of this chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.